You know, I'm terrible. My geography is pathetic. You said that's the Allegheny? I thought it was the Ohio River. No, over. the Ohio's behind us. The, that, oh, so it hasn't joined yet. No, no, no. At this point, it's the Allegheny, and there's the Monongahela coming down. The, geez, Myron, I learned that after my rookie year. Huh? But if they had had any consideration, they would have built this stadium back there, so, so I wouldn't be wrong. Here we go. Here the Steelers, black and the gold. Here we go. Third down and six from the 30, Baltimore's first possession. Back is back. He gets a good block. He's hit as he throws it down the field. The pass could be intercepted by Kanska. He's to the oh, 40. Boy. Right side with a block into the 50. Gets a block, but then another defender gets it down at the Baltimore 43-yard line. Good job by Joey Porter to throw the block, and Chad Scott plays take away. I think Joey Porter hit the quarterback and knocked him just as he released it, and that was a wounded duck. I heard the quack quack from up here. And not only did Joey do that, by the way, it's an 18-yard return by Chad Scott. Not only did he do that, but to get to the quarterback, he got knocked flying by a blocker. He was swirling around in the air, fell on his face, got up, retook his feet, got on his feet, and crushed the quarterback, and yes, quack, 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 quack. Steelers first and 10 from the Baltimore 43 after the interception by Chad Scott. Two tight ends. Pitch back to the left. There's Amos Airway. He turns up field. He's got running room. Inside the 20 to the 35, down to the 32 to the 31 yard line. That's a Steelers first down. That pitch back to the left saw a seam, but I think maybe the three of us could have held hands and run through that hole. Foo.ci on first and 10 after the 12 yard gain to the 31. Back is Cordell. He's going to run the quarterback draw. He gets a little bit of yardage, breaks it out to the left side, steps the tackler, dives to the 20. He's got a first down. The Steelers pick up 12, then 11, and the Steelers are in the red zone. And I told you before the game tonight, Billy, that today is the day they lay guys come off Cordell. They let him run with the ball. And he got, he, he, he escaped the tackle by Rod Woodson, I believe it was. Yes, it was Woodson I see on a replay. What you don't see on a replay is after Cordell escaped, one of the other Steelers came up and gave Woodson a crush. So the, Bam! Take so that, Woodson. The Steelers are... Here we go. Here the Steelers. Back in the goal. Here we go. The sled's going to be a little tougher against us. Third down and two against the dime. Gerback steps in. He's back. Blitz. He's hit. Back, back at the 25-yard line. Mike Jones flying through there. The dime linebacker just rolled him over, and the puck team is on for the Baltimore Ravens. It appeared that nobody uh, was blocking Mike Jones, and he said, well, ha, I don't need a doorman to let me through there, and he came flying. With a slot right. Back is Cordell. He has time. Throws it over the middle. The pass is caught. And a hard hit inside the 10. But holding on with the football is Hines Ward. Whitman goes in motion. And straight behind him comes Arroway for the touchdown. Amos Arroway followed Whitman through the hole. And it worked to perfection. Ray Lewis was the full hunt. Ray bitch. Lewis had him right in the hole. Came flying in there. And Amos just bounced off him like a ping pong ball. <laughs> and he spun into the end zone. Heart and soul. Here we go. Your back is back oh, to throw. Really? We got oh. a holding call. The pass is thrown into the end zone. Picked off by Brent Alexander. The marker's down. The Steelers play takeaway. And was that Pindrell fell right in Gerback's face as he threw that football? It was Edwin Molotawa who tackled Kendrell Bell, which because Kendrell Bell was getting right in Gerback's face. Brent Alexander comes up with the pick, and he, in the regular season, had four picks for the Steelers, four interceptions, and the Steelers on the touchback go first and ten from their 20 and dodge a big bullet. Huge. Here we go. Cheer the Steelers. Back in the goal. Here we go. Motion. That is Tuman. Back is Cordell. Pressure. Fires it. What a grab by Heinz Ward at the two-yard line where he's tackled by Curry Harris. The ball was on his shoelaces, and he somehow reached down, running full tilt to pull it in. Harris, and I believe Ray Lewis in the coverage, but he not only reached down, he bobbled it after. Yes, he did as I see on the replay. He indeed bobbled it, then gathered it up. Heinz Ward, you can't say enough about him. Everything's tight. Third and goal from inside the one. 
Cordell turns, gives his airway up over the top for the Steelers touchdown. He flew through the air with the greatest of ease. Amos Zaraway puts the Steelers up by 16. He landed in Morgantown. He flew so high. <laughs> I'm telling you, that guy, he could have, if nobody would have put a hand on him, he'd have gone through the goalpost for a field goal. Here we go. Oh, no, 60 minutes. I don't know what's going to happen. Right side again. Play action fake, and Gerback is going to throw it. He dumps it out of the backfield. It is complete with the football. Terry Allen ducks. What's that? We're losing the football. Steelers have it at the 34-yard line. Jason Gilden is the man who stripped the football. Gilden is on the football as, w as well. I didn't see whether he, he did strip it, yes, he did. but he, got, he recovered the ball, and, and Allen had just gotten away from two tackles Jason, and was yeah. trying to pick up steam again, and I thought he simply dropped the ball, but let's take a look. Well, what happened was Gilden, Gilden just missed the tackle, and then, he, and then it was oh. no, no, it was the Earl Holmes that came over and stripped it. Earl, 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 Holmes. Earl of Holmes, whom, whom Sharp of Baltimore called the weak link in the Steelers linebacker. Yeah. This will be a 46-yard field goal attempt. The ball is down. Brown's kick is on its way. That kick's long enough, high enough, and that kick is good. Chris Brown go, Chris. makes up for the 35-yard miss with a 46-yard successful venture. And the Steelers extend that lead to 20-zip. And you got mortally wounded birds on that field right now. <laughs> Here we go, car power. We'll get the job done. Punt by Josh Miller in the direction of the germ to the near sideline, taken at the 13. Now he starts to the wide side right, and he's going to get a wall. And he turns up field 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Only Josh Miller can catch him, and Jermaine Lewis has gone the distance. Jermaine Lewis, 87 yards on the punt return. He took it left and went right up the sideline. So there you go. Uh, they're back in the football game, and it's not a surprise because, you know, who, who is a greater threat back there than the germ? I don't know. who he's, he's, he's reeled off. Huge runs against the Steelers time and again. What's going to happen? Other all unfolds. That's just Back is Cordell. Throws it down the field. Plex is open. He's got it to 15 10. He's into the end zone for the Steelers touchdown. Cordell Stewart. Wow. Fired right on the money. And somehow, Plex got open and Plex stepped away from a tackler and roared in for 15 out. That covers 32 yards, and that is a mighty big play. If you've got an injured shoulder, Gordell, keep it injured. Chris uh, McAllister and Wad Rod Woodson, neither one of them could stop that play from working to a T. Hunter back, retreats, throws for the goal line. It's juggled and intercepted by Brent Alexander. He runs it out. He's at the 5'10". To the left at the 15, 20. Being chased at the 25, 30. Being hit at the 30 and down at the 30. It was off the fingertips of receiver Travis Taylor in the end zone. And Brent Alexander said, thank you. And he took his second interception and rambled forward. And the Steelers have put a nail in the Baltimore coffin. And I, it was crazy, crazy, I'm telling you. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was first off the fingertips of Chad Scott. Back to the uh, Travis Taylor's fingertip, and it's a Brent Alexander. But look, no, nope, no, nope, no, I'm wrong. Travis Chad, Taylor drops Chad, it on the ball. Chad never got a hand on it. Are no. you still worried a trifle? Right before the play, when you said you were still worried a trifle, well, going. Yeah, but they didn't get in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing. Hey, Steelers fans, after the game, stop by the Coca Cola Great Hall to see the one, the only. Myron Cope and his now world famous post game Cope's Cabana show. <laughs> Torch Yokin will be joining Myron for today's Cabana. He's there every Cabana. Which follows the locker room report. We're trying to make it sound big time. Oh, okay. Which follows That's the cool. locker room report on the Steelers radio network. I didn't know that your Cabana show was world famous. <laughs>